there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. I'm going to start things off this week by reminding subscribers to the Fisherman Magazine to take note that next week is the final weekly edition of the magazine for the 2015 print season. The next print edition will be our monthly glossy for December, which will arrive in homes and be on newsstands the week of December 7th. We will then publish monthly in January, February, and March before our weekly print cycle kicks off once again for the 2016 season beginning on March 31st. However, in the meantime, for the latest news and information, including regular fishing reports from captains and tackle shops continuing to operate across New England throughout the winter, check thefisherman.com on Monday afternoons for updates and be sure to sign up for our bi-weekly email bulletin, which provides the weekly report rundown and our regular Thursday video forecast for the weekend that you're watching right now. You can now also, as always, join in the conversation at our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the fisherman magazine be sure to post up some of those pictures that you caught this year as well as those that you get throughout the off season maybe you'll see them in the magazine over the winter months moving on into the fishing reports we're going to begin as always in connecticut where the theme of some massive blackfish in connecticut waters continues this week we got word of a 24.45 pound blackfish landed by angler Roy Davidson. This thing almost toppled the pending state record that was caught just a couple of weeks ago off of Niantic. That's an awesome catch and it just goes to show you not all of those massive tog are south of Long Island. We've got plenty of big blackfish here in Long Island Sound so get out there. we got a beautiful weekend coming up. Perfect shot. Maybe you'll either tease that state record or who knows maybe even knock off Ken Westerfeld's world record. Good luck if you get out there. However, it's not all blackfish right now as Michaela Jensen nailed a nice 30 pound striped bass this week while fishing with her husband Chris. They also got in some really good blackfish over the weekend. The two of them got a bunch of nice fish. However, a nice 30 pound November striped bass for Michaela. That's awesome. Congrats on another great catch. Then moving on into Rhode Island, fishing finally seems to have leveled out off Block Island since the hurricane shook things up a few weeks ago. With the reopening of sea bass not too long ago in federal waters, this has produced some great mixed bag fishing around Cox's Ledge. Sea bass to five plus pounds are being landed with many anglers limiting out to go along with some nice cod into the high teens. Cod seem to be somewhat spread out still, but they're starting to group back up and more keepers are being found with each passing trip. And then in surf fishing in Rhode Island along the South County beaches, there seemed to be a downturn in the action last week, likely due to the big super bright moon we had, but there's word of improved catches this week and in the last couple of days. And I will say, with the coming moon that we've got next week, I'm sure there's going to be some really big bass pulled out of the roadie surf before we meet again next week with the report video, so hopefully I'll have word on that for you. Who knows, maybe you'll be the lucky angler. Then up in Massachusetts, Captain Rich of Black Rose Charters reports tuna fishing remains excellent off of the Cape when the weather permits the boats to sail. We also, he also notes pollock fishing has been excellent and with the reopening of Haddock as of November 1st it makes for some great options depending on what you want to target and what the weather allows you to sail for. And lastly, last week I told you about a nice largemouth bass weighed in at Red Top Sporting Goods. Well, this week we've got another big bucket mouth, this time an 8 pound, 9 ounce largemouth weighed in at Goose Hummock Shop up in Orleans. Now, many people overlook the fantastic freshwater fishing to be had on Cape Cod for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, trout, salmon, and so on. But it just goes to show you there's some really big freshwater fish and we're slowly approaching the ice season up on the Cape. Hopefully it'll be good, as good up there this winter as it was last. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.